you come across someone that's fallen down in the street. They're in pain and there's no one else around. That little voice in your head says, help them, help them. Where does that voice come from? That voice is your conscience. But when we look at the majority of other species in the world, they display no real signs of a conscience. Imagine, for instance, a squirrel with a sense of right and wrong. It doesn't make any sense, and yet human beings, and perhaps a select few of other highly social animals, do have a conscience. So, what is its origin? Where does it come from? And how does it develop over our life? These are the questions we're going to attempt to answer today. To begin with, we're going to ask what a conscience actually is, its function in our lives. And we're going to look at this, I think, historically. So what are the historical origins of the beliefs around the nature of our conscience? We're going to start with the 13th century monk, St Thomas Aquinas, and then move up to the early 20th century psychologist Sigmund Freud. Aquinas thought that our conscience was essentially a rational application of moral laws to specific situations, whereas Freud thought that our conscience was actually imposed by our parents and by society and was a psychological phenomenon. We're going to look at both of these answers um, and compare them to each other. 